Hey everyone, Joel here at RevThink. Uh, happy Labor Day to everyone here in the US. Just to recap, throughout September, I am asking this question, what is it about some studios that are thriving despite COVID? You don't hear about them much. How are they thriving? What's going on there? And what I'm doing is it's like peeling back layers of an onion. I'm unpacking this model I call the thriving creative firm. Now, at the top of this model is this thing called great work. That's what we all want. We want to produce great work. We want these, the budgets that come with great work. We want the freedom that comes with great work. So what stops us? Well, what I would say is this. Great work only comes from the best clients, from working with the best clients. You don't just sit down and say, we're going to produce great work and then hope the rest takes care of itself. Now, but what do I mean by best clients? Now, I actually asked this on Instagram and I got a really cool response from my friend and social media queen bee dot lung. She said a very high level of respect for my expertise. And I thought, ooh, that's really, really good. So what about you? What is it you look for when an opportunity comes your way? You have an opportunity to work with a new client or repeat uh, an existing client. How do you know you should say yes? Now, rather than guessing, I want to say this and being subjective about it. Did you know that there is an objective, an actual rational way to go through and make this decision each time in a way which really moves your uh, creative firm forward in a really powerful way? The reason that this is important is because I know this about owners. For you owners out there, you make decisions based on this thing called your lizard brain, right? Where your human nature gets the better of you and you can make terrible emotional decisions based on things like, well, sure, this client is lackluster, but we've never told them no before. Or you might say, this time will be different. Or you might say, we need the money. And there's, those are certainly legitimate reasons, but if you say them over and over again, it leads to some very unintended consequences over time. So here's the hack that will get your lizard brain out of operation, out of the equation, so that you can make an objective decision. It's something I call the three R's. The three R's are these parameters of the real, the relationship, and the reward. And you're looking for the intersection of those three elements. When all three elements are there, you know it's going to be a huge, huge success. That's my little go-to tool. And I do know this. I've had studio and production company owners implement the three R's and their average project size and scope and budget over a period of a year or two increased like five times. And so I know it works. This is, it's really remarkable what happens. Okay, so once you apply the three R's, and you know now what to look for in those best clients. How do you actually get them? How do you go out and find them? Well, that's what I'm gonna to cover tomorrow when we talk about curating community. Curating community, I'll cover that tomorrow. By the way, if you wanna hear me walk through this whole model in detail and show pretty pictures and diagrams and all that, uh, I'm gonna be explaining this in a webinar this Thursday. It's called How Some Studios are crushing it. It's Thursday the 10th at 4 p.m. Eastern. So make sure to register in the link down below uh, or check out my social media pro profiles. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.